going to wire up a single pole switch to a light. Very common in the house. A lot of, a lot of closets have them. Um, kitchens, going out to just wherever, a light you need. A single application working one light. So we're in the shop and let's go. All right, so what we got is electricity coming in and electricity going out to our light up here. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to strip a wire down. If this don't look familiar, maybe your wires are already stripped down. You need to know what's what, okay? Make sure the electricity is turned off though before you get going, okay? Let's work safely and not break life lesson number one. Don't be stupid, okay? So let's go ahead and strip these back. I've got six to eight inches of wire in my box. An easy way to determine that, your finger from here to here is roughly six to eight inches, depending on how big your hands are. Okay, so we need to strip that back. So I got a pair of rippers, and all I'm gonna do is run them up in there, clamp down, pull it out, and as you can see, it just tears it right off nice and neat. And I gotta remember which wire is which. So this is my electricity coming in. And the other one, so I'm gonna fold it up. It lets me know that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and strip the other Romex that's going out to my light. The same way, and I wanna get as far back into that box as I can. Because we're only supposed to have approximately a quarter inch of sheathing in the box. I'm gonna strip all of this back. I'm gonna cut it so I get my wire strippers and just start trimming all this out. I want to be careful and not cut my wires anywhere. I don't want to nick them or anything else. Electricity is not fun to play with. So I have electricity coming in here, and then I have electricity going out. So we're good there. From beginners or even to the advanced guys, let's just go ahead and take our grounds, put them together. They're going to go together our neutral wires, our white wires, unless you're doing a switch loop, and that's a whole different situation. These are gonna to go together. And we'll go ahead and strip them back. About roughly, I would say three quarters of an inch. Half an inch, three quarters of an inch is all you're gonna need. That's all you're gonna to need to go in and wire nut. I got some guys up here helping me. Can you grab me a couple of yellow wire nuts out of the bin right there, please? And that's gonna go there. And then the ones I'm gonna make a J-hook that's gonna go around my switch, I'm gonna strip them back just a little bit longer so I can make a good J-hook. Remember, keep these separated. This is going up to my light. This is my electricity coming in is all I can call it. So I'm gonna make a J-hook here. You can grab it at the end. You can put it in a little hole around your wire strippers, however you wanna do it. Nice pretty little J-hook right there. Don't wanna make it too big, too long. And same thing with there. Thank you, sir, and we need one green one, okay? So, I'm pretty much ready to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my neutrals wired together. Thank you. Make that nice and tight. You'll know when it's tight enough when you see these wires start twisting together. That's nice and tight. Get them out of your way. Now, I still have to remember what goes where. So this is my electricity coming in. A single pole switch. You always tell a single pole. It's also called a double pole switch. Easy way to remember this is got two screws on one side and one ground on what would be considered a top. Bottom, top. Well, we can read off and on. That's the way it'd fit in the box. Okay. If you read no, that means you're upside down. Okay, so let's turn it up like this. Alright, so I've got my electricity coming in. I want my J hooks to go clockwise around the screw head. This being, this reason, is when we tighten this screw down, it's turning clockwise. It will grab the wire and really tighten with it. As you can see, it just squeezes it on down. Now, as you can see, my J-hook isn't too long. I don't want this to be stripped way back here, but the possibility is when we put it back in here, we don't want it rubbing up against the ground and shorting out, okay? so. We're going to go ahead and hook up the other one going out to our light. Tighten it down nice and snug. And as you see it twisted around too, and it pulled it up right there along with it. 
So we're done. We now have our connections pretty much like we just broke the wire in half and attached a switch to it. Okay. So we have our neutrals hooked up. We have our, what I like to call our hots hooked up. Now all we gotta do is hook up our ground wire, which is gonna go right here on the ground screw. I have a grounding screw. If you don't have these, you can take and twist the wires around, use a bonding clamp and clamp them down here and just leave one wire coming out, which would be called a pigtail. And then it would just hook straight to there, okay? But we're gonna use this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and trim down the wire going out to our light. Trim it down just a little bit. I'm gonna twist that up just a little bit so it'll get a little bite once I get my grounding screw on there. The wire nut that is. Okay. We're gonna put that on and that'll grab it. Same thing here. You'll feel it get tight and you'll see the wire start twisting together inside and you'll feel it twist in your hand. Is that nice and tight? We're gonna make a little J-hook on this. Right there. And of course, we'll also make sure that is going on clockwise. Okay. And you see it grab pretty tight there. Okay, so we have both our hot wires or black wires hooked up. Our neutrals are taken care of. Okay, we are pretty much done here. Besides just putting y'all back in the box and putting our cover on and moving on. Okay, so let's move on to our light. Now, if you don't have a ripper like I have here, you can pick these up at the hardware store, or wherever Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere like that. They're a couple bucks, but you may just have a utility knife or a razor knife. These work also well for getting inside the box and doing. Okay, so, but you have to be careful when you're cutting the Romex not to really dig in with it. We really, all we want to do is score it. Okay, so we're gonna score the top, score the bottom, and the Romex comes right off. Okay, we're gonna peel the paper off the ground wire, and get it out of your way. We're done with this. Okay, it works out real well. Right, so, ground up our hot wire. We're gonna do the same thing, roughly three quarters of an inch or so. And our light that we're gonna be using has screws on the back of it. So we're gonna make J hooks for that, okay? Now, depending on what kind of light you're using, you may just have to strip it back just a little bit shorter, like we did our neutrals and just put wire nuts to it. So now we have our, our hot or neutral hooked up. What are we gonna do? We have, with this kind of keyless light, what we have is nowhere to hook up our ground. But maybe later on, we may wanna use this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and just curl it up and get it out of our way. Now, if you have a metal box or something like that, you have a ground screw, go ahead and hook it up to that ground screw and go or if it's a ceiling fan situation or anything like that, you would hook this up to your green wire and to your, and to your grounding screw and so on, okay? Now, an easy way to remember this is we have a gold section and a silver section. Our black is gonna to go to gold and our white is going to go to our silver screw, okay? So we wanna make sure we are clockwise going on, same way. Turn it around, hook this one up clockwise, hook it up, okay, we're good there. This is all ready to go into the box and be put on, put your screws on, mount it up, put your light bulb in it, and you're ready to go, okay? So, with that being said, you're done. You're now ready to put everything into the box, fold it up nice and neat, Z it up, Put it in, put your screws in, put this in the same way, light bulb, plug it up and go. All right? Hey, single pole switch to a light. It's not that hard to do. Wilson wire.